Hello, welcome back to our Agone Institute video on our course of modern models of sports ministry. Now, you might be thinking, I thought you said modern models, and so far we've talked nothing but the ancient games. We're going to do that in this first week. We're going to talk a lot about the ancient games because it's reviewing all those that, courses that we taught, classes that we taught within our history course. But it's also going to give us the foundations of this body, mind, and spirit going forward and help fill out some of the, the theological foundations for which we go forward. So, on your first slide that you have there, in this section, we're going to talk about other cities and other game sites. And you see that in 70 AD, there were some 200 different cities that had some sort of athletic facility and sponsored some sort of athletic games. The darker shaded areas on your map was the area that Alexander the Great had conquered and had spread this Greek culture through. So you see that this goes over much of the Middle East, a lot of uh, the southern part of Europe, and even down into a little bit of Africa uh, and Egypt. But you have to understand the totality of these games and, and the comprehensive scope of them. We talked last time in our last video a lot about the Olympic site, which I think definitely impacted Paul as he wrote, particularly as we think about Hebrews, the letter to the Hebrews, and a few other concepts that he came up with. Today we're going to talk about two games just so you have a comprehensive view of them, but that you're not confusing them with the New Testament because I do not believe that these two, even though they were both crown games, one of the four that if you won as an athlete, you were really something, kind of like the modern day Grand Slam events uh, in tennis or in golf, that if you win the four big majors, then you've done something. These two games complete that foursome of, of the games of antiquity. So Delphi, where, the, where you see this picture of the, of the temple there in Delphi, celebrated the victory that Apollo, the sun god, had over the Python, therefore the Pythian games, P-Y-T-H-I-A-N. Now, even though this is one of the four games, I can find nothing conclusive in the New Testament or extra, extra biblical uh, areas that would say that that, there's, that Paul had any identification or any kind of, of uh, relationship with the Pythian games. Now you see in the next slide that these are some of the, the ruins there uh, at, at the Pythian games. Again, you can see at the lower left-hand corner, you'll see there uh, the, the starting blocks for the runners, and behind them were kind of like their their locker rooms, if you will, their little stations where they would, where they would go and, and get prepared or clean up afterwards. And then the next slide you see, you're going to see, again, a close-up in the upper left-hand corner of the, of the starters blocks where the runners would start. And then you'd see the stadium. And you do see that there's some seating here because the climate was better and it was just a better place to come all the way around near to the population centers not like the Olympic Games where it was out in the middle of nowhere. And then you see in the foreground those little cubicles where they would have just little basins of oil to rub, rub them themselves or maybe some water to clean up, the circular baths, if you will. Then there was another site that, that we won't talk much about, although this probably Paul would maybe have even seen because it was so close to Corinth, was Nemea where the Nemean games were. So this is a good possibility of, of some background thought for Paul, but it's, it's not, again, I, I don't think that it's, it's as powerful an argument for Nemea as there is Isthmia. And we'll come to Isthmia in our next uh, instructional video. The next picture you'll see is Ephesus. And the reason I include Ephesus is because of the two places that Paul spent the longest sojourns at in terms of cities during his missionary journeys. The first was Corinth, where he spent a couple times and one in length of about 18 months. 
And the other one was three years in Ephesus. And he was also in Ephesus a couple of times. And so you see that this is outside the stadium, and these were the statue bases for the athletes. And this was the site of the games in Ephesus. Now, I'm also including a couple here just to give you an idea that of those cities that, that John wrote about in, in the book of Revelation, that these cities were also uh, had games. So Ephesus was a city that he wrote to. And, and the next one that you'll see, the next slide you'll see there, is Epidaurus. It's a smaller city up in Turkey. And you can see there again that there's places for fans, spectators, if you will, to come up. This gives you an idea just as you look around the, the games and, and, and you get a, the cities, rather, you get a sense of, this, of the scenery. So again, the last slide gives you another picture of the Nemean games. All of this is, is meant to give you a sense that this culture absolutely permeated everything about everywhere and everyone that Paul would have met and that the early church would have intersected with. The games, you couldn't miss it. You couldn't miss it no matter where you were because they were so much tied into the overall culture as well as they were tied into the religiosity of that day. It's not too much different than today in 21st century and that we have these shrines and we have all these things that the, that the people of today listen to, watch, participate in. The athletics and religion have always been very close. That's part of what we are trying to communicate in these first few moments together in our course with our Agone Institute. Next time we, we come to what I believe is the place that Paul really spent some time at and much of his New Testament writings embodied and referenced, and that would be the Isthmian Games. So until then, I'm Dr. Greg Linville for the Agone Institute for this Modern Models of Sports Ministry course. Thanks for joining.